So I want to show you just the uh, like four second uh, update or change to Illustrator 17.1, uh, Illustrator CC that is, to the perspective grid. Now, I'm not going to take a lot of time with this and this is going to look so stupid, but you'll get the idea here. If I go to the perspective grid tool and select that, you'll see that we have a perspective grid out here. Let me zoom out. Now what we can do is we can attach artwork to this thing. So if I go grab text, you know, symbols, draw stuff, whatever, and like I said, this is not going to be pretty. I grab, let's say, like this little symbol here, and what I'm going to do is go over to the perspective selection tool and just kind of drag it onto the grid and resize it. Okay, just do something kind of stupid. But this way we have some artwork and we can work with it. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly change directions here and copy this stuff and just copy a bit and show you here. Now the, the tool, the, the tip here is not how to do this stuff. I'm just trying to get it set up. All right, if you have artwork that is attached to the grid, what we can do is we can take the perspective grid itself and change it by grabbing one of the vanishing points here and have the artwork move with the grid. So if I go back to the perspective grid tool over here, you're gonna see that we've got these little vanishing points left and right. Right now, if I just click and drag, you're gonna see that, well, it's not really gonna move anything. <laughs> so let me undo. But if we do this, if I come under view, come to perspective grid, and before you grab one of those perspective points, if you lock the station point, so lock the station point basically means that both the grids are going to kind of move together, if you will. Grab one of these on the horizon and move it, and you'll see what happens. This is brand new in Illustrator. You couldn't, couldn't do it just by locking and dragging in this way. So it's, it can make it much easier to be able to grab and kind of change the angle on things and working with the perspective grid. But like I said, that's this looks dumb, I know, but hopefully you get the idea, and this is what's new and one of the features in Illustrator CC 17.1.